I got all three of them in series, uh, hooked up to a turning meter, 63.58 volts, fully charged. Awesome. Uh, as you know, I was working on my derailleur earlier, and uh, mailman's walking down the street, and he goes, hey, hey, I got another package for you. I'm like, nice. He's like, it's heavy. It must be batteries. I was like, it is batteries, and I'm excited. So now I got these last three packs. I have the other three all disassembled and in series. Uh, what, I, what I have to do is break apart these three, and then I have to parallel two, two, and two. And by paralleling, I don't just mean hooking up the positive and negatives. I mean I'm going to have to hook up the balance leads as well so I can charge them with my balanced charger and keep these cells balanced well. Oh, that's weird. I just started uh, taking apart the first pack, taking a couple screws out of it, and I noticed that one out of the six packs has this battery gauge. I know DeWalt added this battery gauge uh, after their first run of packs, so I'm not sure if this pack is newer. It's got a 2012, 2011, 2011. Huh. So let's hope it's got the same cells. Uh, it should. I don't think they changed them from what I read, but this pack is the new run and the other five that I have are all the old run so hopefully that won't cause any problems alright and I got these three pulled out of their housings and as you can see this new one here with the little board just uh, push the button and it lights up alright we're getting somewhere we have six battery packs uh, the three from last night that are hooked up in series still are right back there and here are the three new ones uh, one thing I never mentioned before is, uh, as you can see, the black negative, I've been bending up the tab. There's like a factory shunt or, I guess, a fuse or a, a breaking point. And uh, you don't want to keep this on your pack if you're going to build a large pack because it could fault and you want to have your pack completely like taped up or whatever you do to close your pack up and you won't notice it and it could, uh, it could short here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be breaking these off and soldering to the... Uh, good part on on the terminal here. Now these three need to go on charge. Uh, I'm going to charge them separately just because I'm not sure of their, their sitting time. As you know one of them is from 2012 and two of them are from 2011. Uh, I already think I forgot which ones are which. Uh, I'm not marking them or anything. So I'm going to single charge these and then we can start worrying about putting them in series and parallel. I want to get them topped off. Alright, the first one of these packs that I shaved up was pretty tedious. Probably took me like 20 minutes to do that. So I'm going to have to repeat that five more times. And uh, then we can start putting them together. Well, I got all six packs uh, deburred and I kind of just like took all of the plastic pieces off that I didn't want. I just snapped them all off with pliers and Dremel tooled in areas where I couldn't get with the pliers. And... I have the three packs in their configurations which I think I'm going to keep them in. Uh, they kind of tuck together this way and it'll allow me to attach all my connections the easiest ways. And after I attach each one of these packs I might even be able to stack them the long way because if you can see they'll, they'll tuck in together this way too. So I can make a long pack out of it after I do those five cell connections. Alright, so the first thing I did was uh, heat up my iron and take off all of the stock leads. Uh, I don't want any of that junk, so I pulled that off and it was pretty quick and easy. Uh, the next thing I did was I tested all of my terminations from my balance leads with a meter and I made sure that everywhere I'm planning to solder wasn't going to be a short and that everything was going to be in the right spots. So now that I have them in their formation, I can start hooking up all of the balance leads. Uh, I'm going to be paralleling through the balance leads as well as through the packs. So we got some small copper conductor here and we can start soldering. Alright, quickly before I put the balance leads on, I just kind of tuck the packs in their formation and I put two licks of tape around them to kind of add some tension and hold them in place. Did it on all three of them. And I laid them back down on this cardboard and kinda flattened them out and made sure that all the cell tops were even 
and kind of flush with each other. And by doing so, it'll kind of make the pack uh, look straight and neat when it's uh, completely done and wired. All right, now I'm finally getting ready to solder. I got my uh, three sets of balance jumpers, and now I can start going to town. All right, and there you go. I got the balance leads coming off of one of the batteries. Uh, I just parallel them through it on both sides and after I do this to the other two packs I'll be able to start working on the primary leads alright and there we go third pack has balance leads uh, I made sure they all came off on the right side and they're all color coded